Donnie Dwyer, the Sports Cycle, here with another Fordham basketball standout, Chris Bethel. Chris, what does it feel like, again, being back here in the Rose Hill Gym where you've had some tough and good moments at the same time? Right, yeah, it feels great to be back, you know, back in the hometown, back in the Bronx where I'm from. Um, you know, I had some great, great times here, you know, with Marcus and uh, BD and, uh, you know, Sebastian. We had some great times here, man. I, I, can't, I can't ask for nothing better. And what was your favorite memory here? Mine is the St. Louis game where came off the bench and St. Louis was the top in the conference. You just come off for 20 points, you get 12 rebounds, whatever it was, and bring that energy. to. What was your favorite moment? I actually have two, like Marcus said. I actually have two, the URR game. You know, we was definitely fighting for number one in the conference and, you know, everybody played, you know, together and tried to get that win. Um, you know, we came up short, but, you know, we definitely put the effort in. And um, the St. Louis game, you know, everybody was doing everything. You know, for my bench players, everybody was a team effort and a team win. So talk about, you were in the Dominican Republic. Correct. Talk about those few years playing overseas and being in the south part of the, the country rather than Marcus being on the east overseas. Correct. Yeah, um, you know, Latin America is actually, uh, you know, different from Europe. Um, but same thing, you know, you're American, you want you to score. So um, I was happy about that. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it, you know, basically you just go out there and, uh, you know, work hard, basically. And now you've been working hard in a little bit different thing. Um, you're working in fashion, you're looking good tonight. Right, right, right. Talk about, you know, what it's like going in down, down in Manhattan and, and working on something that you're passionate about. Right, right. Yeah, um, I'm definitely, um, I'm passionate about fashion just like I'm passionate about basketball. Um, so, you know, I work hard every day and, um, you know, I, I love Fifth Avenue. It's just, you know, everything is glitz and glamour and I, and I love it. Um, fashion was my second passion. I knew it about a year ago, you know, and I'm doing it full-fledged now. If you could change the Fordham jersey in any way, what would you ch change it to make it more flashy or dynamic? Oh, wow. Um, wow. I actually would probably change the color. I'll change the color. I, I might want black. I might want a black jersey. They used to have the black one with uh, the, instead of the A, they'd have a star. Right. Do you think they should bring those back? Maybe have like classic jerseys? Yeah, definitely. I want the, I want the star on the jersey and also on the shorts. That'd be sweet. Now, though, the one thing that I wanted to get into is, is you were he here when things started to go a little bit down. Right, Gio cool. was here and all that. Right. When you hurt your knee, right. what was that moment like? Because I know you as a person, right. that <laughs> killed you so much. But right, right. What, is, what was it like to persevere through that and to be able to be successful like you are today? Uh, I'm definitely, um, you know, you know, life actually throws different things at you. You got to know how to handle it. And, you know, that was a big, big uh, loss for me, actually, to my ACL. Um, you know, but I just came back next time and just keep working out on my leg. And, you know, I played in the Dominican Republic, so I'm happy about that. And you, you sort of were on the things where it was like a rebuilding stage almost when the five left. Correct. Talk about how this team and maybe those teams could have gone over the hump or get to a level where they could be NIT, NCAA level. Yeah, um, yeah um, in my last senior year, you know, we definitely had a tough time here. Um, me and Gio took a lot of it. Um, and um, we just you kept going and trying to try to win games. And basically, you know, everybody got to be on the same page and everybody got to work hard. Everybody play their role and then we definitely going to win games. And uh, the guys right now, they need to actually do that. I know they're young, but, you know, everybody play their role and they'll be all right. Talk about what it was like being around those five, you know, though that those five, they helped you develop into not only probably a player, but a person. Talk about what this Fordham family means right. to you as you know, you're getting older and becoming more successful. Right. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, my Fordham family means a lot to me. Um, every time, you know, anybody's in town, you know, and stuff like that, we always get together and uh, we talk about the good times. We talk about the good times, and that's the best thing about having that Fordham family. You can't. It's unbreakable. Last question, number 50. Why would why did you choose number 50 as your number? <laughs> uh, yeah, been with me since high school. Um, you know, since freshman year at St. Raymond's, um, I was number 50, and it just stuck with me. You know, they used to call me the man-child, so they gave me number 50. So, and, and that was basically it. Well, he's my man-child. I think he's looking <laughs> great right now. Check out more Fordham stuff here on The Sports Cycle.